Hello friends, welcome. Now let's get started and work with a splate. So if you go to the splate.dev website, here we have the documentation and let's go inside the documentation here. Now we have introduction also I told you a splate provides a super easy way to build a single page application using a standard Laravel blade templates enhanced with a renderless view three components and if you want you can click here and read more the renderless component in Vue.js but uh, here also we have the automatic installation so with automatic installation we create the project the Laravel project CD in that project and we require the package which is the Proton Media slash Laravel dash split and we run the PHP artisan split colon install and that's it also we have the manual installation so if we have a project and we want to add the split we can require the package and we need to add the split middleware in the road middleware in the kernel inside the HTTP slash kernel PHP and then create the route with the middleware split and create a group here and every route inside this group has access to split. Also we have this breeze starter kit which means we have all the breeze authentication working with split and this is what I'm going to do. So first let's create the project, the Laravel project. I'm going to open the terminal and I'm going to say Laravel new split just split i'm going to name it the project and then cd and require the package okay so cd the split and let's require the now we have here the level split breeze also as you can see dash breeze here so we have the breeze authentication and we need to run the php artisan breeze install and the last one is to run the npm run dev so copy that Okay, so let's run the npm run dev and let's open the project split.test. So let's see here, split.test. Here is the project, but because I am in the Brave browser, we need to remove protection. And now we have the our project. As you can see, we can navigate in the login and you can see we don't have a reload here so if I navigate to the login yeah it's a single page application okay let's uh, create or let's open first the project so I'm going to terminate this and I'm going to open with VS code And let's zoom this one. Let's navigate in the .env file so the database is splayed and the root and password. If you have a different name for username and password, you can add here. Also, you can change the database, but I'm going to leave it as it is. And come here, go to the database and create new one paste that name, click OK. And I'm going to run the artisan migrate it's PHP artisan 
migrate, OK, and refresh. And I'm going to create a new user, test, test, email.com, and add the password. Go to the register, and here we have now the dashboard, the project, and also is coming with a profile. So we can navigate in the profile, we can change the name in the email, the password, and we can delete our account. Okay. Let's log out. Let's go and log in now with that user. So test email.com and add the password. Login, everything okay. So this is how easy it is to add the split and it's like uh, inertia. Now if I open Okay, so if I come here and let's go to the routes, web routes, here are all the routes. I'm going to remove this. And as you can see, all the routes is inside this route middle with middleware split group. We have a split table which register routes to support table with uh, bulk actions and this split uploads register routes to support async file uploads with file pond and then we have the welcome and we have the road for authentication and then which has a dashboard and the provide and then we have the out php require which is all the routes for the breeze package okay friends that's it about this video how we can create the project and add the splayed install the splayed with breeze also hello friends welcome so in the previous video we installed the splayed and we installed the splayed with uh, breeze so we have the breeze authentication system in here but also as you can see we don't have the reloading so all is a single page application and for that we have installed the split so and in this video let's see the basics of the split and if we go to the documentation and let's start with the navigation so the fully leveraged split page loading capabilities we need to add the split middleware on routes this one and we use links as you can see and if i open also the welcome where these two links are we can see is link here link component which wrap the is a view component which wrap the anchor tag and if i go to this link component here in the splay documentation yeah unlike most split components the link component is a view component and is a wrapper around the anchor tag element which prevent a full refresh but lost the linked page asynchronously okay also this has some more attributes than a anchor tag we can add a confirmation so let's just do that let's go to this link here for login and add the confirm attribute and if i go and say login now yeah we have the confirmation we can cancel or we can confirm and navigate to the login and you can read more so you can uh, change the text change the text on the button on the confirmation button and on the cancel button now if you want you can also transfer all the anchors all the anchor tags to the link just by saying transform anchors to true inside the app.js so if you go to the resources.js app.js 
and here we have the transform anchors if we want we can change that to true this link has also the away attribute if we want to navigate away from our application has methods we can add method post or delete or so on headers and request data so if we want uh, the value pass it to the data attribute will be parsed by view and not by php we just add data if we want the value to by php we need to add the colon and then the data the same for the headers additionally a preserve scroll attribute prevents the page from scrolling to the top this for example if we want to delete a record in the table and we don't want to scroll to the top when we are redirecting back from a controller we use this preserve scroll attribute okay this is for the links and we are going to use links in the other videos but for now just i show you also let's see the progress bar and progress bar in the app.js is true by default so if i come here yeah we have the progress bar true and this is to show that uh, progress bar if we, if i open and let's go to the network and i choose the slow 3g so let's go to the home page and why we don't so go to the home page okay and let's slow 3g now and if i say login let's confirm and as you can see we have this progress bar here now if you like okay if you don't like you just change that to false also we have a toast notification which is very useful so let's go in the toast here and in the controller we just use this facade toast title and add the text and also we have the instance has uh, several methods the position left top center top and where you like and we are going to use this as well but just for now just i'm going to show you the and if you go you and read the documentation is very easy to adapt the split also we have a warning center and so on okay that's it for the toast notification we have the shared data also we have a title and meta tags so for if we want to change this title which is laravel by default is showing the name of the application so let's just do that let's copy this and let's go to the web and here we have this road get for the welcome which is we don't have the uh, controller and i'm going to add this seo here and just import the seo facade up here as you can see and if i save right now it's nothing is going to happen and let's remove this one now let's go to the home page yeah as you can see we have also laravel we need to change that if we go inside the root.blade we have a title here and let's remove this title or i'm going to comment this one and let's save and now we have a laravel split course so what we added in the in here so let's say laraveler split course come here and now we have laraveler split course here very good so you can change a canonical url and open graphs tags on here also twitter tags very nice to have custom meta tags if you want to set a custom one and let's scroll up i want to just publish the provider 
SEO from the split. So let's copy this and let's say in the terminal, I'm going to terminate this and paste that one. Okay, so if we navigate inside the config and we have the split SEO PHP and by default has the app name and I change this to be Laraveller. So if I just remove the app name, and I'm going to leave by default Laraveller here. This is because we are that in the and if I refresh, now we have only the Laraveller. Okay, so that's it, the basics of uh, split. All the best. Thank you very much. Hello friends, welcome back. So in the previous video we worked with the uh, basics of the split, so the navigation and routing, progress bar, toast, uh, title and meta tags. For the lazy loading you have the video here and for the service side you can just read the documentation, it's not too much. Now also we have a components here as you can see, content, so if we want to render the markdown we just use this built-in component x split content and we add the HTML attribute we bind this and here we add the variable also you can see for the data so let's just demonstrate this let's copy and open the resource views welcome and i'm going to select all and paste this one save and if i refresh yeah you can see your name is because we have an input and then a paragraph your name is and then with this a span with the text data name so what we put here is going to display in the span so let's add and let me just zoom it okay let's add something here so let's say john and you can see we have john down there also we can add the default one so let's do that let's add the default for the name and now the default name is laravel split is kind of uh, yeah it's kind of uh, alpine js when we say x data and we here we and we define the data here we just say default and define the name and we assign the string here and this if you want to add the php version we can use the bind default instead the just default here and add an object we say binding a default and we add an array for example name level split and is the same so we can update this let's say laraveller and now okay and you can uh, so also you can add the first user get the data from the database remember and default local storage use and so on the fur errors so if the error has name the text error first name display the first uh, error for the name also we have the event a flash message so when we return in the request a session has flash message we display here and warning by default split will share all the flash data to the front end so you may disable this if you want so if i click here and just let's publish this one so i'm going to go and let's terminate this and i'm going to paste that one okay and also this one and now 
if we go to the config, we have the split.php and you can change what you like and what you don't like. So we have the share session flash data, the true. You can change this to false if you don't like that. Okay, it's also for server side rendering and so on. Next, what we have, we have the form. We are going to work with form for the link we read in the first video. For the model is very easy. We just use this X split model. And to demonstrate all of this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a CRUD. So let's open the iTerm and I'm going to clear this and say, artisan make a model and let's say I'm going to create a category because I want to have so in the form components we have this uh, select and I want to use this select to demonstrate you so I'm going to create a category mod model and migration and the post and when we create a a post use this select okay so for that I'm going to create this category uh, not model but model my mistake here and one for the post so let's say post okay and now open of the category table here. I'm going to add only the name, so the assign table string for the name, and this is going to be unique. Okay, save, close, open the post migration, and here what I'm going to add first add the category ID, so I'm going to say origin ID for the category ID and I'm going to say constraint ok and cascade on delete then I'm going to add the title, so the assign table string for the title and the slug okay and let's add one more for the description and what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this slug and add also in the categories and now let's run the artisan migrate Okay, now we have all of them. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create also the controllers. So let's come here and let's say artisan make controller. Okay, so the category controller and one for the post controller. Very good. Let's go here and I'm going to remove what we added in the welcome. So let's remove them and let's leave it as it is. Refresh. Let's go and log in. We have also, let's remove this confirmation because I don't want that. So in the link, we have this confirmation. I'm going to remove and also I'm going to zoom it out. Go to the link and we have this user 
Let's log in. OK. Now with that two links here for the category and for the post. So we need to go in the layouts and navigation. Here we have the navigation links and by default right now we have only the dashboard. So let's copy this and add two more. I'm going to add the categories and this one is going to be the post link. Here I'm going to say categories and here is going to be post. Let's save and let's refresh but we don't have the categories and my mistake we need to add here also the dot index and the same in the post. So let's say dot index save open the web routes and register this to routes we created the controller so I'm going to say road resource and not the user but for this is going to be for the categories and it's going to be the category controller and the second so road resource post controller okay save uh, we need to import it the category controller and the post controller save now and refresh as you can see we have the categories and post links if i click we don't have the index and with that we are going to work in the next video so see you there all the best and don't forget if you like like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this all the best friends Hello friends, welcome back. So right now if I click the categories, uh, yeah, we don't have the index method in the category controller and the same for the post. And what I'm going to do in this video now is when we click the categories, uh, display the index page for categories and render all of the categories in a table in the Laravel split table. So if we go here to display the dev documentation, and we have a table component here, go to the overview and you can find also this video here to explain you how you can uh, add table split, use the split table in the controller and also in the blade. So for that I have created, so if I open the VS Code, I have created the factories for category. I added the name in the Slack and for the post also i created post factory and i added title slack description and category id one okay then i run i added the category factory create 10 and post factory create 10. so we have right now in the database if i open the uh, split database yeah, we have posts and we have 10 of them and categories 10 of them. So let's display them in the table when we click here. First thing, we need to go inside the app HTTP controllers and in the category controller first, let's create the index method. So let's say method index, so public function index and here let's get all the categories i'm going to say dollar sign categories is going to be equal with category auth and then and then let's return the view categories index and add the categories here all right now let's import that and let's create the file and the folder categories 
So let's navigate inside the resources, views, and create a new categories uh, folder. And inside here, a new file index.blade.php. So index.blade.php. And what I'm going to do, go to the dashboard and select all, copy, and paste it here. Change this dashboard to be categories and inside here now is going to be the table. Let's save and let's see if I refresh, go to the categories. Yeah, we have categories here. Now let's display the table here. And if we can see, we need to return the array with what do we want? So we want categories and use the splayed table, facade, or here we have user class, but we are going to use different. So let's copy this one and let's navigate in the controller. And instead of compact categories, we need to add an array and add not users, but categories, import the splayed table from the Proton Media splayed splayed table. And instead of for user class, I'm going to save for dollar sign categories. Or we can remove this and say category class like this. And I'm going to paginate by uh, five. Okay, I think I saved. Yeah, now if I come and refresh, nothing happened. What we need, we need to add the X splayed table component and bind the four for what value you want to add here inside the, the uh, view. So let's copy that and let's go in the view we created earlier. So the categories index blade. And in here now, I'm going to remove this and add the X splayed table, but not for users, for categories. Save and refresh. Okay, I have the categories mistake there. And yeah, here we have now the table, very easy to add. We can change the per page number and we have here the pagination. We, yeah, we don't have the email here. Sorry for that. We have the name and the Slack. Good. We can reset and navigate. Very good. Now, if I come here, also what I want. Also, you can create a table class. So for example, PHP artisan make table uh, categories, but I'm going to leave and so let's return only this one instead of something like this. But I'm going to go in the built in query builder. Also, we have party query builder, but I'm going to use this one. And let's say I'm going to add the search input, but not I'm going to add a global search. What I want, I want to make a sort table to true, as you can see here. So if I don't want what I want, I want to add this one. Can be hidden, true or false. So inside the column name can be hidden. I'm going to say false, for example. And now I refresh. We have only the Slack, which can be hidden and not the name. Good. Next, what I said is to add uh, also the sortable. So let's copy that and add inside here sortable to true. And now let's refresh. And we can sort by the name, as we can see. And let's sort by name. As you can see here, we have categories sort by name. If I 
sort by minus name and if I copy this and come here and paste it yeah if I navigate to the page 2 yeah we have sort minus name and page 2 okay then what do we want we have the oh yeah and the last one is to add the search and also you can add default sort so if you have also the the sort for the slug and you want the default to be name you can say default sort name yeah i want to add the global search so let's uh, just copy this and I'm going to paste it remove this and paste it right here with global search which is going to be columns just name you can add also another one but I'm going to say just name right now and let's come here and refresh and we have the search let's reset first and let's search for the Rosan. so let's say And yeah, we have the search. Uh, okay, now you can find more customization if you like. So default sort, searchable, sortable, and can be hidden. Select filter and bulk action exports and also add the spotty query builder. But for now we are okay. And the same thing I want to do for the post so let's copy this method let's navigate in the post controller and paste this one here change the categories to be uh, post import the split table from proton media split and in the post we need to display the title the global search is going to be title also the slug and what we can add the description but we are okay just the title and the slug for now and let's save oh yeah here we need to say not category but post and import the app models post save And now let's create the post index. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this and paste it. I rename the B post and go inside the index blade, change the categories to be posts. And here we need to add posts. Save, come here and we get in the post now yeah we have the title and the slug okay we have the search so let's search for this one very good we can reset we have the pagination we have the sort table okay and we just hide the slug this is how easy is to add the table with search using the, the splayed table component okay friends i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best and thank you very much Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we displayed here in the table the categories. We have the global search. Also here we have this I, we can hide the column. We can hide only the slug because the name I uh, set that can be hidden to false. We have pagination and per page here. Everything works okay. The same thing we have for post, global search, this to show and hide the columns 
the title, display the title and the slug, which has also the sortable title per page and the pagination. Okay, everything works okay. Now in this video, I won't because in the with this we had, if you go to the display documentation, the table component, we used the built-in query builder. And in this video, now I want to show you also the spotty query builder, how we can do that. And if you go here, we have an example. First, we need to install the query builder, but also I want to, in the post, I want to filter the post by category because the post belongs to category. And then also I want to add the edit button to the table, also the same for the category start the edit button here. So let's start. Let's first, let's install the package. So Laravel Query Builder. And if you go to the spot in Laravel Query Builder here, installation, we need to add the run this composer require spot in Laravel dash query dash builder. So let's copy that and let's navigate here, open the terminal. And let's run this command. Okay, then you can go to the features, which has filtering. So how we can filter them, allow filters, an array, and we, this is the URL, sorting, include the relationship. So allow sorts, we need to add allow sorts for the name and so on. Default sort. So let's start, let's navigate in here and let's copy this global search. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my controllers and the category controller is going to remain as it is. So here we are going to use the built-in query builder. In the post controller, let's change. So I'm going to add the global search and we need to import this load filters and also the collection, which is the illuminate support collection. And here we are in the post. So the query is going to search for where the title is going to be like the value or the slack. So the global search is going to search in the title, also in the slug, and if we want also in the description, but I'm going to leave only the title, the slug. Then let's create the post variable. I'm going to say dollar sign post is going to be equal with query builder, query builder from Spotty, and make sure you import that up here. And this is going to be for the post class. Okay, like this. And then first we need to add the default sort. So let's, yeah, we have the, the default sort and let's copy this and add it inside here. Now the default sort is going to be for the title. Allow it sort is going to be the title the slug, let's also add the slug here to sort and not the language code. For now, let's remove this. And here also remove this. So this is going to be allowed filters for title and the slug. Then we return the post split table for not post class, more but for the dollar sign posts here. Very good. Column title can be hidden to false and sortable to true. And let's add the sortable to true also in the slug. Because we say allow it source for title and slug in the query builder. We add the paginate by five by default. We can remove this because it's default. And I think we are okay now. Let's just save as it is right now. And let's navigate. Refresh the post. Yeah, we have the same thing. We have also the Slack 
sort table and by default is 50 per page we can change the 10 per page if we want so let's come here and let's say 10 yeah now it's 10 per page or if you like only 5 uh, 5 to start from 5 well, that's is okay this we had before anyway now we have the global search so let's search for this one and right now it's going to search also the slack on not only the title so as you can see we have this string in the in the slack here and in the title here and here very good so the global search work and the pagination works every and this one works okay good now let's add the filter the filter by category for both and let's navigate in here what i'm going to do i'm going to say here in the allow the filters also to add the category id category id and i had a comment in my video in the previous video how we can filter them so by category and i'm going to do that filter by category and we can add also the select filter in here so let's say select filter for category id and here now we need to add an array of options but what i'm going to do i'm going to come here and get that array so first i'm going to say categories i'm going to create a categories variable which is going to be equal with category model and i'm going to plug only the uh, name and id and i'm going to say to array and add these categories in here and let's save and if if i refresh now yeah as you can see we have a filter here and right now it's not filtering but if i filter for this one and by default if i open the table plus all the uh, post has the category id one so go to the split open and post as you can see the post has the category one to all of them good now i think the category with id one is this one actually so if i select this one yeah we have all the categories 10 of them as you can see here 10 results but if i filter by the second one we don't have any so let's change uh the post so this one i'm going to say has the category two and refresh now let's reset and the category with id2 let's see who is who has the category d to the rosanna nicolaus so let's select that rosanna nicolaus and yet yeah, we have only one so the uh, filters works okay let's reset and now let's add here the edit button to do that we need to go in here when we add a column and we need to add one more column so let's say column which is going to be an action column and right now if i save nothing is going to happen so let's come here we have an action but we need to add the link here to go to the edit page and if i open the web roads we have a road resource for categories and for the posts so we are okay now what we need to do to add this that link is to go inside the resources uh, views 
and in the pose we have this index and here we have the x split table inside of here now instead of self-closing we need to close like this and inside we need to add that cell so let's say cell for the action and here is going to receive the post the last line post and inside here that let's use the link which is going to be shrap wrote post show and add the post id and let's add what the this is going to suggest us and let's say edit and let's close the link and let's also end the cell if i save as it is right now and let's open the browser and refresh you can see we have this edit and it's going to navigate in the slash post to post for and so on very good but let's just change the class because I don't like it like this so instead of something like this I'm going to say text to be uh, uh, blue or green 600 and on hover is going to be text green 400 and let's say also font to be semi bold like this let's save and come here and refresh and yeah we have something like this and now if i click here the show does not exist we don't need to navigate to the road post show but post edit and refresh again and now if i yeah we have post edit very good and let's do the same for the uh, category so i'm going to copy this and navigate in the categories index let's close like this the table and paste that in but instead of post this is going to receive the category and say categories edit and add here the category id and let's save also we need to open that controller because we need to add so category controller and add a column because right now if we don't add the column it's not going to work so let's save as it is right now and let's navigate in categories refresh yeah we don't see that so we need to add a column for action and refresh and now we have the action which is going to navigate the categories one edit categories two edit and so on okay friends so that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best hello friends welcome so we are okay with the table we show what we want so we also uh, sort search and have pagination the same for the post now in this video i'm going to add a button here a link to go to the categories create to create a new category and the same for posts add a link here and create a new post and work with a split uh, for so let's open the vs code and inside the routes sorry resources views go in the categories first index 
and I won't add it here. So when you have these categories, is inside the slot with a name header. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this one and add the div with a class of B flex and justify between. And then inside paste that it's true and I'm going to add a div or not the div, I'm going to add directly the link which is going to go to the shref of route categories create and I'm going to add a class to be uh, px4 py2 bg indigo 400 and on hover I'm going to change that to bbg indigo 600 text is going to be white and I'm going to say rounded md okay and let's say new category and close that link like this let's save and let's see now if I refresh we need uh, we have the link but text is white and we have bg indigo 400 so let's run the npm run dev Yeah, now we have here the new category. Okay, now if I click, yeah, the category controller does not have that create method. Okay, but let's do the same for the post. So I'm going to copy this, uh, all the div here, and navigate in the post index and paste it inside the header. So remove the H2 and paste that in. Just change the row to be post create and say new post here. Very good. Let's save this. Navigate to the post and we have new post. Okay. Now let's work with the uh, controller and also we need to create a new or let's save this I'm going to save this as a create blade and the same in the post so let's open this and save as create blade so now we have the create and in the post and create in the categories let's open now the uh, controllers and category controller create the create method here so method create and we need to return that view so let's return the view categories create let's save let's do the same in the post controller So method create and let's return the view post create. Okay. Now tab nine is suggesting us and is very good. So let's come here. A refresh. Okay, where I have this problem in here. refresh again and now if I say new post we navigate in the create but here we need to make some changes so first let's go in the post create and instead of the table here is going to be the form so I'm going to say form here and let's navigate in the new post yeah here we have the form and let's do the same for the categories 
So let's say form here, save, and let's go to the categories, new category, and we have a form here. Okay. Now let's open the split documentation and let's navigate in the form overview. And here we have you have a video how you can use the forms. And we have an example here. So let's copy this and let's navigate here when we have the form and I'm going to paste that in. For the, the category, if I open the models category here, I have added the protective filler name and the slug. So we need only the name and the slug here. So let's say name is going to be name for this one and the label is going to be name. So first we added the component X split for then the X split input. And here you have the input example. Also you add the label, you add the name type placeholder and so on. You can go and read that. So I added for the name and then for the slug and the label is going to be slug as well. Also we have the X split submit and if I come here now and refresh, yeah, we have something like this. Let's add in this form a class. I'm going to say max with MD MX auto and a P4 and I'm going to say BG white and around it to be MD save come here and yeah we have something like this just in this state submit also I'm going to add the class to say just margin top of uh, four and now we have okay good now when we submit we need the form to have an action and I'm going to bind this action which is going to point to the route and we need to add the route categories store okay if I save and let's open now the categories category controller and create the store method so I'm going to say method store other request and instead of just something like this I'm going to create a new request for this one so in the terminal I'm going to say artisan make request and let's say category store request okay hit enter then run the npm run dev just in case and here now use the category store request dollar sign request and I'm going to say category create and I'm going to say dollar sign request not all but validated and return redirect the route index and I think this tab 9 is going to add also one called the brace is after so remove that now let's navigate to this category uh, store request change the authorize to be true and what we need to return here the rules name is going to be required and maximum of 255 and the slug and I think yeah okay also the slug is going to be required and max and the slug also on, and the name is going to be unique I think let's open the categories yeah unique both of them yeah 
unique to the categories table and column is name remove this one and let's just add the same to the slack here we need to say a slack okay refresh and if i go to the categories we have something like this go to uh, go and create new one and now let's say a test category and test slug say submit we redirected back and we have 11 results if i go to the last one here is the slug test and let's say new category and if i say submit we have the name field is required and the slug field is required so we have the validation everything works correctly And I think we are okay with this video. Now I'm going to leave it to you to create a new post. The same we have for the categories, but you just try and create the new post. And I'm going to do that in the next video. So see you there and all the best. Don't forget if you like, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Hello friends, welcome. Now in the previous video we worked with uh, form for categories, create new category. Now let's work with post because I left here and I told you that if you want you can create yourself. Now let's create together. If we go here we have just the string form and let's open the VS Code. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the form we have here for the category and paste it inside of the create purpose. Just we need to change the route which is going to be posts and let's open also the post model and just here we need to see we have title, description, category ID and the slack. So let's change here. First input is going to be the title. Let's say title. Then we have the description, the slug, and the category ID. The slug is OK. Now for the description, we need to go here in the documentation of the split. And let's go when we have the form components. We have this text area, and I'm going to use this one. So let's copy this so title slug name is going to be description and let's see now yeah just we need also to add the category ID which is going to be a select so here we have an example and let's copy this one and I'm going to add the first one here. The name is going to be not country code but category ID. Okay, because here we have category ID and now options we need all the categories. So let's say categories very good but where I come from these categories we need to go in the controller so post controller and in the create here we need to get all the categories which is going to be category and look the name and the id and give it an and transform the array and I'm going to say uh, add the compact categories like this. Okay, so we added the title description, category ID and the slack. Title description, category ID and the slack. Okay. Let's navigate in the browser. 
And as you can see here, we have title, category ID. Okay. Just to the description, I want to add a class. Let's say margin top of two. Oh uh, yeah, we need also to add a label for this. and say description. And I think we are okay. So title and maybe also for the category ID, let's add a label and say category. Okay, now we are okay. And let's work with the store method because right now if I say, yeah, store method does not exist. So let's open the post controller and create a method store. And also I'm going to create a new request. So let's say artisan make a request and post store request hit enter and run also the npm run dev again and now let's use that post store request as dollar sign request and the same thing we have done in the category controller just say post create and dollar sign request validated. And then let's return to the route cut, uh, post index. Okay. Now let's open the post store request, change the authorized to be true. And here we need to validate the title. Which is going to be required. And max of uh, 255. Then we have the slug which also is going to be unique to the post and to the Slack column. Let's remove this one. Next, we have the description, which is going to be just required. and also the category ID. And let's save it. Come here and refresh. Now if I say submit, the category ID field is required, the title field is required and OK. Then let's select, I'm going to select the test category, add the title, so first title, add the slug, let's say first title like this and add the description. And let's say submit and we redirect it back and here we have first title, slug first title. So we created the post and we have the results here, 11 results. That's it, how we can create a new post. Okay friends. Now, when we create a post, it's a good idea to have uh, that uh, notification. We created the post successfully or something like this, and it's very easy with split. So let's go up when we have those notification. And on the controller, we say something like this. 
So let's copy that and navigate on the post controller. So when we store new controller, we are going to say uh, we need to import the toast from Proton Media Split Facades Toast. Okay, and let's say here. Post created successfully. And also I'm going to say new post created. Very good. If I save and let's try one more time for the new post, let's change the category. Let's select this one. Second title, second title I'm going to say and something for the description and let's say submit and now new post created successfully. Very good. And let's do the same for the categories. So when we create a new category, just copy this one and navigate in the category controller. When we create a new one, paste that in and say new first import the toast from Proton Media Splayed Facades Toast and let's say new category created successfully save. Let's create new one first and let's say first here submit a new category created successfully. Okay friends that's it about this video I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best. Hello friends, welcome back. So now we have created the form to create a new category and let's work with uh, update also. So when we click the edit, yeah, we don't have the edit method. Also, we don't have the page. And the same for the posts. And here we need to change this to be posts, not categories. And also here to say new post. So let's work first with that. Let's open the views, posts, index. And here we need to say posts. And on the create, we need to say new post here. And I think the same on the categories. When we create new one, let's say new category. So categories create and say here, new category. Okay, now let's work with the update. So here we need to create the edit method. Let's close everything and let's open the category controller. And let's create down there the edit method. So let's say method, edit, and in here we need the category and I'm going to use a road of the binding and then we need to return the view categories edit and add also the compact category. So for that let's go inside the views categories create and I'm going to save this as edit. And here I'm going to say update category or edit category. We don't need now to create or let's leave it the link to create new category there. The route is going to change to be categories update and we need to add the category ID here. And if I save and come here, yeah, let's go and edit. Category controller edit does not exist. Ah, yeah, I don't save this. So refresh and let's say edit. And we are there. So let's click here. Okay, now let's fill the name of the Slack with the right 
So now let's fill the name and the slug. If you go to the split documentation in the form, we have also the model binding. So we need to add here the default and the model. So let's copy that. And with that, we are okay. In the edit, in the form, just change the model to be category. If I save, now we have that. Okay, if I say submit, uh, the method is not supported for the road post, so we need to change also the method. And if we have a method here, maybe just go and add it in the form. So let's say method to be put, I'm going to say, and come here and say submit. Yeah, now we say update does not exist in the category controller. Good, let's create that in the category controller. Let's create the method update. And I'm going to use the same request. So let's say category uh, store request, dollar sign request, and use also the category, bind the category here. And then I'm going to say, and let's leave the tab nine to work for us. So category update, the request validated, title category updated successfully and return to the road category index. Very good. Let's save and let's see how it's going to work. I'm just going to say, remove everything here and say submit. And now we have the name has already been taken. And this is because we, in the category store request, which say, required and max 255 and unique the category's name but on update i don't want to have this unique the category name except this one so for that what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to transform this in the array and let's say something like this okay now here i'm going to use the rule validation import from the illuminate validation and use the unique So, uh, okay, so rule unique the categories and ignore this road category. Okay, if I save and come here and refresh, say submit, yeah, I don't have that. So let's do the same for the slug. Also, we can specify here the column. So let's say name in here and slug in here. And a refresh. Okay, category update is successfully. Let's go and update the test. I'm going to say just test you submit and category updated and we have the test you here let's also update remove this or just let's update the slug and yeah everything works correctly now let's do the same for the post Yeah, first we don't need, we don't have the edit method. So let's open the post controller and create the edit method here. 
and we need the post here dollar sign post but also we need the uh, all the categories because when we create we have all the categories here so let's do the same and let's grab the categories we have done in the create and let's return the view post edit compact post the categories okay just remove this added by type 9 and go to the post edit and now the post edit not found so let's create the file in the post create let's save this one as edit and here instead of new post i'm going to say edit post the route is going to be post update and add the post id now also the method is going to be put and let's save now refresh edit and yeah now let's add the let's bind the model the same thing we have done in the uh, category so we need to specify the model in here and instead of category we need to say post now and as you can see here we have the category first title slug and description if i say submit we don't have the update so let's create the update method in the post controller And also here I'm going to use the same request, so post store request as a request and also get the post, bind in the post here. And let's say a post update request validated, post title post updated and return to the road. Very good. Let's save and let's now if it's going to work. If I say submit, the slug has already been taken so let's open that we have the same rule for the slug here so we need to add what we added in here rule unique so let's copy this and paste it in here import the rule from the illuminated validation rule just now it's going to be rule unique to the posts and slug is that and this road post save refresh let's say submit we're addicted back and second title here let's update this i'm going to change this to test you the category second title updated and let's save and here we have that so second title updated test you okay now let's update the slug and also change one more to the rosanna and say submit and second title updated, second title up, slug, and category Rosanna Nicolaus. Okay, that's it about this video, friends, how we can make an update with the split form components. We bind the model on the form and automatically is going to fill the fields. Very easy. And also we, with the help of tab 9, is going to create very quickly. So if you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one. Friends, all the best.
Hello friends, welcome. Now let's finish our uh, grad for categories and post in our project using the split component. So here we have the split uh, table component. In new category we have form component. Also here is the link component. And on the edit also the form component. And here is the link component. Very good, the same we have for the post. So we can create a new category, show all the, all the categories, edit the category. Now let's add a link or a button to delete the category and the same for the post. For that, uh, I'm going to use the link from split. So if you go to the split and in the components, we have the link component and we have read about this one using in the previous video. So what I'm going to do, um, here we have the confirmation, if we want to add a confirmation, and you may customize the confirmation dialog. So let's copy this. And let's open the index inside the categories first. And here we have the table, and we have the cell for action, which means this action here, this cell here and uh, we bind the category and we added the link for the edit. Now let's add this link for delete. What we have copied there and if I come here we have the danger zone. Just change this to be delete. Yeah. Now also let's change the look. So let's add a class here. we we'll add a class to be text red uh, 400 or 600 and on hover also let's change that to be text red 400 and also I'm going to add the font semi bold because we have added also in the edit and if I save yeah we have similar good next uh, next I'm going to change the confirmation instead of the enter the danger zone, I'm going to say delete category. Also, are you sure it's okay? Confirmation button, just yes, not something like this. And for the cancel button, I'm going to say cancel. And if I say, yeah, delete category, are you sure? Yes, cancel. Good. Now let's change also the shref. And for that, I'm going to say wrote uh, categories destroy, and we need to add the category ID, and we have the category here. Okay, as you can see, so we can use that category to add the category ID here. Now, if I save as it is right now, and just let's see what is going to happen. If I say the yes, the category controller show does not exist. So we don't have the, the, the destroy, but the show, and that's it because the method is not delete here. We need to specify the method also. And for that, let's come here and add also the method, which is going to be delete. And let's see now if I say delete, yes. Now the destroy method does not exist in the category controller. Okay, let's go and create that. Let's open the category controller. And in here, let's create the method uh, destroy. Uh, first, we need to add the, the bind the category. And then I'm going to say category uh, delete. OK, those notification category deleted successfully. Just here, we don't need to return redirect of the road, but return back. 
redirect back. And if I come here and refresh, and let's see if we can delete this one here, the first one, which has this name. So delete, if I say yes, now the category deleted successfully. Very good. If I say uh, 50 per page and we navigate here, and if I say delete, just and you can see we can scroll up. Just that I want to show you. If I say delete now, yeah, as you can see, we scroll up. If you want, don't want that, you can add the if you scroll down, scroll down. Here we have the preserve scrolls. So that I'm going to add in the in the link. So if we add this preserve scroll, and when we delete, we are staying down there. We're not scrolling up anymore. So if I say delete now and say yes, yeah, we stay where we are. Now it, this is up to you if you like, if you don't like the same. Uh, let's do the same for the post now and just copy this and open the index page in the post. Here we have the cell for the action and after the link for the edit, let's add this one and let's navigate now to the post. Yeah, we have bind the category, but we need to say post because right now we are we bind in post, not category. And also we need to change the route to be post destroy. Are you sure? Confirmation. Just also the delete post here, not delete category. And I think we are okay. Now if I save, come here, yeah. Go to the post and we have only two uh, posts because we deleted the categories. The categories which has the posts, I think, yeah. Now let's just open the terminal and I'm going to say here, so artisan migrate fresh and I'm going to add the seed plug. Okay, now if I refresh, we are not logged in, so we need to go and log in first. Uh, register, sorry. Let's say register, test, test email and add the password. Now go to categories and we have 10 of them. Go to the posts and we have 10 of them. Good let's say per page 50 per page and if i scroll down say delete if i say yes now the destroy method does not exist in the post controller so let's do the same in here uh, in the category controller i'm going to copy this and open the post controller and paste at the end also the destroy just here we don't use category but we need to bind post and also post here and say post delete. Okay, uh, the post notifications we need to change also here to say post deleted and return redirect back. And if I refresh and we are at the end, as you can see, because we added that the preserve scroll, we're going to stay here. Say delete, yes, and pause delete successfully, and we are at the end. If if you don't like that, save and refresh. Say delete. If I say yes, now we are scrolling to the top. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy. So we have finished the CRUD for categories and for the post, we can uh, search, filter by category, 
also we can hide the slug or action and so let's hide the action okay change the per page and also have the pagination very easily using the split components if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video all the best and see you in the next one thank you hello friends welcome so we have done the grad for categories and posts using the laravel split package which i think is very good so you can speed up your laravel uh, development if you want to work with Vue.js okay so one more thing I want to add here because I had a comment in my video how we can add the, the export and he tried to add the export but had some uh, errors and if we go in the display docu uh, dev documentation and scroll down to the table we have the export here and uh, if I if we have this inside the road so let's open the web roads and scroll yeah we have this here we need to install the mat website excel package so let's open also this one and install the package let's go to the website documentation and if you want how to work with this one i have a, a video for the laravel excel export and import so let's go in the installation first and let's install this so composer require the package come here open the terminal and paste that command then we need if you want to add the configurational okay if you don't want i'm not going to do that so let's go to the export and you need to make a class but let's see if we don't need that let's go so we have installed the package and in here after you install the package you need to add the export in the split table so let's do that let's open the app http controllers and let's work first with a category controller and we need to add the export here so let's add the export and if i save we are in the categories and refresh yeah we have an error so it's not going to work and this i think is the maybe i make a mistake or i miss something but this is going to work only if we create a table class so if you go to the table component overview and we have an example to, to create a table class so let's copy this command here and open the terminal and i'm going to clear this up and make a table and let's say category categories okay and one more for the posts i'm going to make very good so after that in the controller we don't return that but just that class so let's do the same we are in the category controller and instead of returning something like this and let me comment this one and now return uh, now return categories with categories class like this and we need to import these categories here okay and we don't need that the split table and let's see if i come here and refresh yeah now we have only the id because in this categories uh, configuration we have the with global search columns id and only the column id let's 
course the search is going to be for the name so what we had here is global search column name and let's add column name which can be hidden and sortable to true also i'm going to leave the id also and the search is going to be for the name change this one then add the slug and the action and also the pagination so the slug the action and the pagination uh, paginate okay if i save come here and refresh unexpected token because i think yeah we need to add okay so we have the same we had before if i search for this name yeah we have that and also we can hide the slug and so on good and the name is sortable and also the id is sortable good now the idea is to add the export and if i just add the export here here we have an example so let's say just here export and if i save and come here and refresh yeah we don't have an error and we have this icon and we have an export as excel so let's try let's say excel export categories so it's going to export as categories and let's in the desktop and i'm going to save that and here we have the categories and if i open yeah here is let's zoom it and we have the id name slug and the action which is empty now very good let's go in this one and oh no in the export so the idea is to create the table class and then you can customize the export something like this add the label a file name and what you like but i'm going to leave it as it is also you can for example hide the column so let's copy this and i'm going to hide the action so in the action i'm going to add export as false and if i save and let's try again refresh let's export and now categories one let's save this and let's see now yeah we don't have that uh, so let's zoom it now we don't have the action here we have only the id name and the slack okay so this is how easy to add also the export but you need to create uh, the table class maybe i missed something but i think the this is the way and now let's do the same for the uh, post so i'm going to close this and let's close also this one this one and open the post controller post controller and here now we have the global search we have posts we have categories so what i'm going to do i'm going to select all of them and let's open the post table and in the here i'm going to add all of the logic we had we need to import the allowed filter class the collection which is from illuminate support collection we need to import the query builder and also the category model so app models category very good now here we have the table with global search it's going to be title so what we had here or let me just 
copy this and paste it here. Okay, I will remove now this one, the return, and save. Let's go in the post controller and instead of having something like this, we need to remove all the logic we have here now. And I'm going to comment also this and return post. Post class. Now let's save and let's open the browser because the post also has the filter. And I think we have the same thing. So let's refresh again. Yeah. Let's search for the title here. I'm good. Reset. Action. Slug. Good, let's filter and all the category, all the posts has the category ID 1, which is the Fernando has the category 1, let's, the ID 1, so let's filter. If I choose this one, we don't have any, but if I choose the Fernando, yeah, we have all the posts. And let's reset. Good, now let's add the, uh, the export. Okay, so in the VS Code, in the post, if I just add here the export and save, come here and refresh. Now in the post, yeah, we have something like this. And if I see, if I export this, nice. Let's open, and as you can see, we have the title slug and the action. Now let's remove the action, and I'm going to close this. Let's remove the action, and what I want also, I want to add the name here. So what we had in here, so I'm going to add a label in the export. So in here, label, and I'm going to say uh, post Excel. Okay. And I'm going to hide the action. So the same we did in the categories table. So I'm going to copy this and Paste it here. If I save and come in the browser, refresh. Now we have post Excel. Save. Okay. And as you can see now, we don't have the action and very good. Everything works correctly. Okay, friends, that's it. How we can add the export in the split, in the Laravel with split component. It's very easy. In the table, we just add, we create, we need to create the table class and add a export there and you can modify. I hope you enjoy and if you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you in the next one. All the best. Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video, I added the Excel export for posts and categories because I had a comment in my YouTube video. Now, the last thing I'm going to add is a bulk action because also I had many comments in my YouTube videos uh, how to add that, how to do that. And I think it's very easy, but I'm going to do for the last one and we are finished with split so if you go to the split.dev documentation and in the table components yeah here we have the section for book action we need to have the road split table which we have so if i open 
the web roads yeah we have here and to add the bulk action we just need to say a bulk action and we need to add the function or callback or here we have an example with label each and before and also the after so before and after arguments you may use this to show toast when the action has finished so let's do that let's copy this and mm, just like this and i'm going to go inside of the categories in here we have in we are in the categories table class we create we have created and also we have here an example but i'm going to remove them all now and here i'm going to add the bulk action and the label is going to be touch timestamps the same we have here just to show you here now we need to add the category model and also say category here and category touch we need to import also the toast uh, asad and say timestamps updated now we need to also add the column to show that uh, timestamp when we update it so this touch is going to update the updated at so let's add that one here so column updated at and let's save let's go in our browser and refresh we have the updated at here which is for today because i just added the migration fresh and seed but the time you can see here when we update is going to change this time so right now we don't see any error any uh, bulk action because we need to select the table the column so if i select this one and this one and now we have attached timestamps and just see here all the columns have all the categories has this timestamp this uh, time now we are going to change only the this two if i save touch timestamp we have timestamp updated and as you can see of course this issue has updated so very easy we have also this notification now one more thing i want to do is to add another timestamp or, or another bulk action or just if you don't like to update only the updated add you can modify this but i'm going to add one more in here and I'm going to say delete categories for each function now I'm going to run the category delete which is going to delete the category and I'm going to say info let's remove this info I don't want this just here I'm going to say uh, categories deleted and let's come here and refresh okay now if i select i'm going to select the id 2 and 3 because id 1 has also the all the posts all the posts belongs to the category with id 1 so for that i'm going to select the category with id 2 and 3 and come here and say delete categories now we are not going to have the category with id 2 and 3 if i delete them so if i say delete categories deleted and we have one and then four so that is how easy we can add bulk action you can do what you want but just to demonstrate to you i added the updated timestamp and also delete now the same thing i'm going to do for the post so let's copy that and let's open the post 
pose table. Then I'm going to add that in here. And also let's add the column for updated that. After the slug, we need to import the toast facade. And here not category, but uh, post and also say post here. The same for down there. So say post and dollar sign post. I added two dollar signs, just one. Here we need to say delete post also post deleted and I think we are okay now let's save and let's navigate in the post if I refresh you can see the timestamps and let's select two of them and touch timestamps and timestamps updated and let's delete them uh, first we need to select and now if I say delete post so uh, let's add also the ID because I don't we don't see clearly. So I'm going to copy this and add the first one, which is going to be the ID and the refresh. And now we have the ID here. So if I select the ID one and two and delete post, now we have the post deleted here and also the ID start from ID three. So this is how easy is to add uh, bulk action with help of the split, which uh, one other time I'm going to say very good package to have with Laravel to sp speed up your development if you want to use the Vue.js, of course. That's it about this video and about this uh, tutorial on split. I hope you enjoy and don't forget if you like like the video and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one friends all the best